Belki de onda ama sen baba rock sen mi? Oh my days! This is actually an incredible, incredible moment for me right now. Just have a look. Ah, uh, spasi, but I'm going the wrong way. I'm not on the right path. He probably saw me almost fall over. Wow. So we are seriously in the mountains now. I've been to mountains in Poland, Italy, a few places, but this is on another level. It's like you're on another planet, you're that high up. And it's that vast, it is ridiculous. Honestly, this is intense. Have a look. And guys, you can come here to Georgia in the summer and there might be quite a few people here but coming in the winter although it's brutal and it's like minus 10 degrees I think right now it is 100% worth it because where else can you see this apart from <laughs> other serious mountain ranges but like I say just how vast these mountains are is ridiculous just feels like another world to think this is a country that's to the east of Turkey and you have this this ladies and gentlemen is the Caucasus mountain and this is the friendship monument showing the friendship between Russia and Georgia that some say never existed. Have a look. Oh my days. I'm the only one here as well. What are you saying, guys? Have you ever seen anything like that? Wow, and this is a huge monument. Wow. And to be the only one here Mate, with all that's going on in the world, coronavirus and all these problems, and you come to the middle of the Caucasus Mountains on the border with Russia, and you're the only one in a place like this, I am going nuts, mate. <laughs> you just don't understand this view. Holy moly. Wow. Holy moly, I want to say some different words right now, but wow, I don't even have any words. What? These mountains, what? Wow. I wish I could tell you a little bit about this, guys, but unfortunately all I know is it potentially shows some history between Georgia and Russia. Wow. They've got like an Orthodox church up there. Oh my days. Wow, it is cold. This is the coldest place I've been as well. <laughs> oh my days. Well, good morning people from Kazbegi. This is now the next day and have a look at that for a morning view. So on the job list today is checking out when the Mashutkas leave, more or less, because I need to get to the capital tonight because I've got to take an overnight train to Armenia. Oh, look at that. Can you see that mountain there, guys? 
incredible. So there we go people, there's the sign for it. Gergeti. And you can just see it if I point my camera around to the left. On top of that hill there, got myself a coffee and a Twix. I had a tea this morning, so I think I'm all prepared. Normally in the summer, obviously there'll be many, many people, taxis offering you to get up there, but not for me, because it's the winter and there's no one. I'm not going to help you, lad. So that's the village of Kazbegi down there. As you can see, we're all the way up here, but this road is like a massive zigzag. So it's gonna be pretty steep now. It's probably over an hour in total to get up here from Kazbegi. But with the views, that time is precious. Well guys, I can really feel it getting a bit colder up here. So I just went up that road, but that's the road for the cars that can go kind of around the back. The map tells me that I need to go up here. And then literally the church is on top of that hill. <laughs> Maybe it's alright in the summer, but I mean, let's see if there's footprints. I think I saw some earlier, so I think it's possible. It's just steep. Yeah, there are footprints, so someone's done it. Right up here, look. There's the town. Oh my days. Are they footprints? Are they human footprints? Oh my days. What? What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Nah. What do you reckon, guys? Another 40 minutes around the back or potentially 20. But just look how steep it is. I don't know if this is ideal, mate, honestly. Generally, I don't know if it's ideal. Oh, this is steep. Foot just goes straight in, like that. Because if I start rolling, I've got issues. It's too steep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's reverse. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, that's a summer one, lads. That's one for the summer. Let's keep reversing. Beep, beep. Yeah, that's uh, not possible up there. Oh, that's a shame, because now I've got another 40 minutes and it goes right round the back of it. It's a long way, man. Oh, but that is just too steep. Guys, we've made it absolutely spectacular. We've got the mountains in the background. This is something else. Sometimes when you go to places, you see the pictures, you're like, wow. You get there, it's obviously good, but in this case, it is way better. It is incredible. So we've got the mountains in the background and then you've got this tiny structure here. There's the church in the background and the huge mountains. Hopefully I can get in one of them on the way back. But wow! What an incredible view. Have you ever seen anything like that, guys? This is better than the Alps, sorry. I said it, I said it. Wow. Oh, my hand is absolutely freezing. 
This is the view though guys. From this hill here, you can see the church and the mountains in the background. Holy moly. All that walking was 100% worth it. This is the 360. So after seeing that and the view of the church from here, we're going to carry on and we're going to make our way to the church. I think that car's stuck there. <laughs> Not Georgian dogs. And they keep doing that to me. They keep running up my bum. Look! Ah! Don't go up my bum's holes. They keep running and sticking the red up my bum. Give it a rest, eh? I tried to help them lads push that car, but... Let's face it, it wasn't really making a difference, was I? So it's a public holiday in Georgia today. That's why I think there's probably more people here than usual. These dogs, man. <laughs> and that is how far we've walked, guys. The town of Gazbegi. So I'm not going to enter, but you can just hear the music that they have coming from this church. So it's a very special day that the locals come here. Some of them have had to come up on foot. So it's a big thing for them. The clouds are just falling away actually, to reveal this massive mountain here. And then Mount Kazbek, I believe, is somewhere there in the distance, which is probably possible to see on a summer's day. This is the most beautiful place I've been in my life, mate. I know I said that yesterday, but come on. <laughs> 